Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I've got another Black Series action figure review for you today. We have the deluxe version of the Armourer. I'm really, really excited for this one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I was very lucky to get the Cad Bane uh, version of this as well. So it doesn't, it doesn't want to pull out. So, have a quick look, there's a little bit of a buyer there. Um, yeah, looks really cool. Um, I wasn't originally going to pick this one up. Um, I was just going to hold out for the original, uh, but I managed to get a hookup on this one, so I uh, decided to leave the regular release. Um, so, yeah, let's take her out of the packaging and have a look. All right, here is the armor out of the packaging and she looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really digging this figure a lot. Um, as you can see, it's the deluxe version. Uh, it does come with this uh, shag pile carpet hanging off her back. <laughs> um, it looks okay, actually. I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. Um, and I would like to check out some more reviews of the standard release, um, just to see which one I prefer. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to do something about matting this down a little bit. Um, it sits okay, um, but I've already shown signs of sort of fraying and threads coming loose off of the uh, off of the edges. Uh, it's just the way it's it's been cut out and not overly tidily, um, you know, sewn up at the edges. So it's something I'll, I'll work on myself. I'm happy to do that. It's uh, for the most part she's going to be displayed, so it doesn't really matter all that much. But I do really, really like the aesthetic of this figure. She sort of reminds me of like the helmet gives me like real sort of Spartan, you know, ancient Rome, you know, that sort of vibe. But also the rest of the outfit, you know, with the leathers, the gloves, the fur on the back gives me a real sort of medieval sort of feel as well. Um, it's just really, really cool. She comes with good amount of accessories she comes with these sort of um welding tongs uh, her forging tools and the forging hammer these are the two tools that come with the standard release figure as well which also comes with some sort of effect pieces as well so this is a longer a longer pair of the sort of i call them pliers i'm not sure exactly what they're called um but they're there to sort of imitate that sort of heat, radiant heat. Um, and also another version of the hammer, which has the uh, peg on sort of effect spark. And also comes with a, uh, you know, unpainted Mandalorian helmet with that sort of glowing effect. So you can display like that. It looks like she's forging forging the helmet together, which is quite cool. Um, not entirely necessary, so I can see why some people would wanna would wanna skip on that, but it's a cool um, display alternative for the figure. But yeah, I was watching, um, you know, Darth Rock One. He joined me on the stream last week and he just kept talking about the helmet and how great the helmet looks. And uh, I see exactly what he means. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Zoom right up here. And, uh, yeah, just do a bit of a, a bit of a 360 here, because uh, yeah, it is really, really cool. I just like the added horns on the top. Um, oh, when she was first sort of seen, uh, sort of made me think of, you know, the Darth Maul Mandalorians. Um, maybe this was a leftover helmet from those days. Maybe it's just an, ath an aesthetic choice that uh, she's made as a Mandalorian for a helmet. Yeah, just really nice outfit. I love the sort of the maroons, the browns, uh, the greys of her undersuit, the sort of the weathering around the leather skirt there looks fantastic. Especially this sort of pattern here into the back. Just feels very, very Mandalorian, and of course the uh, chest armor there. Just a fantastic figure. 
I really, really like this one. Nice addition to the line. And uh, should fit in perfectly with my other Mandalorian figures on the shelf. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, you going for the deluxe or are you going for the uh, regular regular release version? Oh, I think both are fantastic. Yeah, an absolutely awesome looking figure. So yeah, like I said, drop a comment down below and uh, stay tuned for some more reviews coming up very shortly. Until then, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.